Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 6-2 Beer Reviews. Checking out first solar beer on the channel tonight. This is going to be... Actually, I didn't even look at which one this is. I want to say this is 2021 Christmas Bomb from Prairie Artisanales out of somewhere in Oklahoma, right? Uh, uh, brewed and packaged by Krebs Brewing Company in McAllister, Oklahoma. Um, I could have sworn this had the, I don't know if it just like rubbed off, but I swear at one point, the last bottle I had at least had, um, like the bottle date on here and everything. I'm almost positive this is two years old. Um, so yeah, 2021. Christmas bomb. Imperial Stout, brewed with spices, it says. Um, I'm assuming baking spices, Christmas spices. Um, also loved this label from this year. Had the, like, Santa taking this, <laughs> taking this guy's, like, wife on a ride, on a ride in the sleigh. Really cool. Love what they do with the whole, like, can you spot the differences? Cause it's got, like, two different versions on here. Really cool, cool stuff. Um, yeah, this is just one of those beers I always love to try to pick up the newest one, review that, and then just hold on to one for like a year or two down the road. Um, honestly, I haven't seen this year's yet, so hopefully I'm able to find that, but I haven't seen it around my parts. So I was like, you know what? Let's just review the 2021 vintage. Um, yeah, let's just dive in. It's December, no better time to have a Christmas stout. Did I even say what the ABV is? I don't think I did. Does it say on here? Oh, don't tell me it doesn't say. Okay, there it is, 13%. 13% ABV. Let's see what it looks like. Save the rest for the thumbnail. To a two-year-old Christmas spiced Imperial Stout tastes like. Looks like an Imperial Stout, that's for sure. Um, it looks pretty thick, head dissipating rather quickly. Um, pretty like dark, like mocha, straight mocha colored head. Kind of like, um, if you ever had like just straight espresso, that little, what's it called, the crema on top? That's exactly what this looks like on the beer. If you can like see this from the top, that's what it looks like. Looks awesome. Super nose in it. Let's see what it's got. Let's see how it's changed for the past two years. Ooh, wow. Yeah, those spices are definitely still there. It's weird, it was like the first nose I got, I got huge spices, like second and third, like kind of faded off there. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is still, it, I feel like it's faded just a little bit. It's two years old, right? The spices are gonna fade. But, I mean, there's still a lot of it, like gingerbread, it, it smells like gingerbread cookies. Um, it's got that just like rich molasses, dark brown sugar kind of sweetness going on. Um, and then a little bit of cinnamon, a little like allspice clove. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, it, like a little bit of vanilla and some chocolate, definitely some chocolate in there. But I mean, it is like huge molasses, ginger, obviously gingerbread, um, a lot of ginger, molasses, brown sugar. Yeah, I mean, if you love gingerbread cookies, this is this beer is right up your alley. Wow, yeah, it's still really there now that it's like kind of opening up a little bit. 
those spices are still really there. I'm kind of surprised by that. It actually smells really, really good. Let's dive in for a taste. Cheers. It's still really solid. The taste, I feel like the spices and that like big ginger thing kind of die down a little bit. I was kind of expecting just a little bit more cinnamon, clove, ginger, um, brown sugar, but it, it kind of dialed down. You really just got a lot of like, um, just more of that like imperial stout kind of character. You know, like, um, just like chocolate more than like anything else, which I'm not complaining about, but I was expecting a little more spices. Ooh, a little bit like a, like a piney, pine needle thing there too. Um, it's not like super thick. Not as thick as I, like, remember it being. But it's still, like, pretty, like, medium towards a heavy mouthfeel. Um, it's definitely not, like, um, I don't want to, like, call anybody out, but just the first thing that comes to mind of, like, recent KBSs past couple of years just tastes a little um, really thin to me. It's not super thin like that. It's um, definitely got a little more heft to it. Yeah, and I mean, that, I really like that, that gingerbread taste. Oh, so good. I mean, it, it, it does it taste like Christmas in a glass. It is a Christmas bomb of a beer. And I mean, you know, usually spiced Imperial Stouts, I'm trying to drink pretty fresh. But I mean, I am really impressed with how this has aged over two years. Like seriously, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. So I think if I keep finding more of these, I'm going to try to age them and I'll just have one every year, you know, especially if I can't find the new one this year, I'll probably try to seek out like last year's or, or another one of this one. Um, last year's, I don't remember liking as much, but you know, if I find a bottle, if, a bottle. if I find a bottle, I might try to pick that one up too. So, um, price on this one. I don't talk price enough of it. Um, I think I paid like nine bucks for a bottle. You know, I mean, it's a little more up there, but I mean, it, it's a holidays, you know, um, I think it's, I think it's worth it. Nine bucks, you know, that. There's some bourbon barrel aged stouts out there you can get for nine bucks. Um, I'd probably rather have those over this, but I'm a huge Christmas guy. And I mean, I'm, I'm always gonna love Christmas themed beers. So uh, this has just always been one of those that I love to have. So I think that's all I got, 2021, 20, I think at least. I'm gonna have to look it up after this, but um, I'm almost positive. 2021 Christmas bomb from Prairie. If anybody's had this one, let me know what you thought of it. If anybody has had the new one, please let me know what you think of that one. Um, hoping I can get some. Hoping I can try to find one of the bourbon barrel age ones because I would love to have one of those. Um, yeah, that's all I got, guys. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.